So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now going to answer question number five from the paper of the IGCSE's Cambridge paper two. This is a non-calculator extended paper. And here we're told to convert 0 0.7 meters squared into centimeters squared. So again, this is non-calculator. We can't use a calculator for this. Um, now here we have a conversion of units from meters squared into centimeters squared, converting square units. Now the way I like to deal with this first is I like to think about how to convert from meters to centimeters first. Now we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, so we multiply. And you know how many centimeters are there in a meter? Well, there's a hundred. We have to know that. That's not going to be given to us. So we have to and we have to memorize the conversions meters to centimeters meters to kilometers centimeters to um, yes, millimeters and so on so from meters to centimeters you multiply by 100 however here we have square units so to convert square units we basically simply just square the conversion so if i want to go from meter squared to centimeter squared i don't multiply by 100 i multiply by 100 squared so that gives us 0 0.17 times 100 squared okay so how can we do this calculation easily well i know 100 squared is the same as basically one with four zeros because it's 100 times 100 so you, you one times one is one and then you got four zeros all together so it's going to be 0 0.17 times 10,000. now that means we're going to take the decimal point which is here and we're going to move it four spaces to the right so one two three four so we end up with one two three four one thousand seven hundred centimeters squared okay so again this is not a non-calculated paper in the past you would just take 0 0.17 and you would multiply it by 100 squared in your calculator and you get your answer but now we have to know how to deal with this type of question without using a calculator now some people will ask why do we multiply by 100 squared Okay, so I'm going to go into, into a little bit of an explanation of that here. Now, supposing I have a, length, a line, and that line, let's say, is one meter long. Say that's one meter long. That, that line would also be 100 centimeters long, because one meter and 100 centimeters is the same. Now, if I were to take or draw another line and make this basically into a, into a square, let me make it a bit neater into a square all right just imagine this is a square this would also be one meters long and therefore 100 centimeters long so if i consider the area of this square in terms of meters squared and i consider the area of this square in terms of centimeters squared well the area is uh, you know the two lengths multiplied by each other length and the width so one times one which would be one in meter squared so one meter squared but in terms of centimeters, it will be 100 times 100, which is 100 squared centimeters squared. So we can see that 1 meter squared is the same as 100 squared centimeters squared. Okay, so we can prove from there that 1 meter squared is the same as 100 squared centimeters squared, which is 10,000. Okay, and if we were to, supposing it was to talk about volume, if we were to deal with, a, make this into a cube, for example. If we change this into a cube, we just added another... Um, you know these lengths of one centimeter okay one meter sorry so uh, this length here would be one meter from there to there which would also be 100 centimeters okay and so therefore we could say that the volume for the volume we'd have one meters cubed is equal to you'll have 100 times 100 times 100 100 cubed centimeters cubed okay so you can see here that um, if it was volume, we would multiply 0 0.17 by 100 cubed, which would be a million. Okay, if it was meter squared cubed to centimeters cubed. So, so a bit of additional information there just to hopefully make you understand why we have to square the normal conversion that we would have. So you don't have to really memorize these. I wouldn't suggest you memorize oh, for meter squared. You do, no, just memorize the ones for the normal length. And then if it's for area, you square it. If it's for volume, you cube it. Simple as that. And if it was going from smaller to bigger, if it was centimeters to meters, for example, we would divide by 100 instead. Okay, so that's just a little bit of a, a side point there to help you understand 
um, this topic. So there's the answer to question number five, which is all about, I guess, um, you know, converting units. It's under the topic of uh, menstruation. In fact, question number six is also related to the same topic. So I'm going to save five and six together in the same video because they're related to very much the same topic. I'll put this both under the topic of, um, you know, uh, menstruation and areas and volumes and so on. Okay, so I'll put them together, right? Although this is more to do with area, but no problem. So number six says the mass of a solid metal cuboid is four kilograms. The volume of the cuboid is 600 centimeters cubed. Calculate the density of the metal, giving you answer in grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, so we know that, as I told us, density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. All right, so we want the density in grams per centimeters cubed. So the mass is four kilograms. So let's change this into grams first. So we know that one kilogram is equal to a thousand grams. So four, four kilograms is 4,000 grams. So we convert the units um, according to grams because we want it in grams and centimeters cubed. And the volume, we want it in centimeters cubed. Well, it is in centimeters cubed, so we don't have to convert that unit. That's fine. So therefore, the mass is 4000 and the volume is 600 so you cancel a couple of zeros so you have 40 over 6 which is the same as 20 over 3 6 goes into 20 3 goes into 20 sorry 6 times remainder 2 so 6 and 2 thirds so i guess you could write it as 6 and 2 thirds of grams per centimeters cubed if you wanted to write it uh, you could write it as 6.6 .6 recurring if you want to round it to 3SF, 6.67. But I think writing an exact formula would probably be better. So I think 6 and 2 thirds is probably the best way to write this answer. Okay, so there's the answer for questions number 5 and 6, which are to do with converting units of area and also dealing with uh, volumes um, and you know density. So it's all kind of to do with units, I guess. So I, I saved these together in the same video. Okay, question number five and six um, other questions from this particular um, paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here other questions from the topic of um, mensuration okay in general can be found in the playlist over here you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and the video here will direct you to in fact um, i'm going to put another playlist here to do with mensuration from the um old syllabus where we did have to where we could use calculators so you'll be able to see lots of different types of questions similar to this although you might find that i've used calculators in answering those in this case we're going to keep this you know to do with uh, the playlist here where i'm going to keep it with the new syllabus and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon